Kellen Winslow, actual size, was quite simply the greatest pass catching tight end in NFL history. Well, he was a phenomenal athlete. Well, the biggest thing is his size, you know, 6'5", 250-ish. Linebackers couldn't cover him and safeties couldn't tackle him. Defensive backs being about 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 For a linebacker that, you know, has maybe good size but doesn't have the speed and quickness, that's what he high, that, that's why he is, he is he was so great. You couldn't figure out how to cover him. Uh, he's a good athlete. He can go up and, and grab footballs. Uh, he was strong enough when you know, the ball was delivered perfectly uh, between the quarterback and the defender. He's hard to bring down as well, too. The man changed the game, redefining the position and then setting the standard for it. You know, I think it really it kind of set the stage for you know the, some of the great tight ends that have come since. Uh, those type of, that type of offense, and he was a guy that if you play tight end in the NFL or you play tight end in college, you, you wanted to be Kellen Winslow. Whenever the ball was thrown him, I mean, Kellen was a, was a huge presence in our offense. Bradley. There he is. Guess who? Kellen Winslow. He blocked a lot. Uh, in fact, I, I taught him how to block. Uh, he, he became pretty good at double teams. <laughs> I remember the Nebraska game in 78. I remember Kellen catching a touchdown pass pretty much on his shoestrings. Bradley under some heat, fires. Winslow, touchdown! touchdown. I mean, just one of the, I think one of the all-time greatest uh, Missouri highlights. He was very complimentary about our football program, what's happened at Mizzou. And uh, here you got this guy with great success who wanted to see Mizzou be very successful. I think it was talk about academic success also, not only the football part, but what we're doing for kids. He was very complimentary to us, and that uh, sort of meant a lot to me. As good as he played for Ole Mizzou here, his work with the San Diego Chargers was better. He happened to go to the San Diego Chargers and with Don Coriel and who was way out there in offensive formations and throwing the football. Where he was able to uh, evolve as a tight end professionally, I think, uh, uh, was something very, very special. And he figured out how to use his body to his advantage. And uh, uh, that, on top of the, the crazy schemes that the Chargers were able to use uh, to defeat teams, uh, it just made them that much better. Before Winslow, tight ends were just one more blocker on the end of the line who occasionally caught a pass. And when Coach Don Coriel got a player faster than the big guys and bigger than the fast guys, he turned him loose to stretch the field and destroy defenses. They utilized this great athlete, uh, size, speed, quickness. And in the searing heat of a Miami night in 1981, he played perhaps the best playoff game ever. 13 catches, 166 yards of touchdown, and a field goal block to force overtime. The Chargers eventually won, and Winslow, as you see here, his body dehydrated, cramping, helped to the locker room, too spent to even celebrate. Don Coriel really used uh, the best of Kellen, and uh, it paid off for him at the end with him being elected to uh, the Hall of Fame. Pro Football Hall of Fame class of 1995, and a smart, thoughtful, passionate induction speech to match the moment. A quality tight end, uh, and, you know, quality is, is understating it severely, but uh, I mean, a great athlete. This guy was, was much more than being a football player, and I think that's kind of the statement. You not only have this great, you know, college football player helped us win here, he was a great player in the NFL, the Hall of Fame, and by the way, also, he's, uh, you know, a great role model. You know, goes to college, gets his degree, gets his... You know, a law degree, and uh, you got a very special player. No less than Super Bowl winning coach Bill Belichick, summing it all up 30 years after number 80 quit, running his routes. The pass-catching tight ends who get paid the most money today are, quote, all direct descendants of Kellen Winslow.